<laughs> Greetings, one and all. Oh, actually, did you want to do that? You go for it. Oh, okay. You go for it. You got this. <laughs> If we have any bloopers, we'll put them in the cold open. Yeah, the cold open. yeah so we'll, we'll have to come up with something. Yeah. <laughs> Unless this is it. Right. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, one and all, and welcome once again to Tom's Hit Parade. Uh, yes, and I've still got Noah with me. Yeah, he's been here for two weeks. Okay, no, not really. Uh, I'm recording this in at the very end of May uh, for their brief but enjoyable uh, four-day visit. Uh, we've had a blast. We've packed a lot of fun into these four days, and uh, I'd rather have a brief visit from him and Alyssa than no visit at all, so I'm all for that. But uh, yes, uh, recording this at the end of May, but I will be uploading it on June 8th, because June 8th is National Best Friends Day. And I mean, I won't be so presumptuous as to assume that I am Noah's best friend, but he is pretty much my best friend because uh, uh, we have uh, bonded so well over music. Uh, he, he was a YouTuber at the time, and that's how we knew each other, was we found each other's YouTube channels. And uh, I haven't bonded with someone so strongly and so quickly over music, and, and actually a pretty strongly overlapping uh, uh, music interest. Uh, since my sister. So that's why his friendship is very, very uh, special and important to me. So proud to call him my best friend, and I and, will. And I'll say, uh, <laughs> you know, I feel like I got to say Alyssa's my best friend. I think that that's uh, oh, in, some, totally in some contracts that yes. I may have signed. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'll go ahead and give you number two. <laughs> uh, cool. hey, I'll, I'll take number two. I will take it. So... Anyway, uh, in honor of, yes, now that the mutual love fest here is over with, <laughs> um, the purpose of this video, as if you couldn't tell by the uh, subject, is uh, we have exchanged a lot of CDs and uh, uh, some records and cassettes, well, as you will see in my, my list, uh, over our almost five-year friendship uh, that I thought it would be fun uh, to, in celebrating National Best Friends Day to rank our five favorite uh, gifts that we've given each other or, and my original idea was uh, this would include albums that we bought ourselves that were strongly recommended or influenced by our friendship, but I think we've, at least I've stuck with stuff that you've actually given me, and mm -hmm. I assume he yeah. has to. Uh, yeah, five ranked items, two honorable mentions, uh, and of course I have mine because we're here at my place, and obviously he didn't want to pack uh, his items just for a quick trip, so I will be showing... Uh, Somewhere on the screen, uh, hopefully, hopefully it won't cover up one of our heads. Yeah, right, uh, right here. If it does, it won't. <laughs> if it does, it's not the end of the end of the world. I mean, you can only look at my face for so long, anyway. But anyway, uh, but yeah, anyway, yeah, so yeah, we we'll go ahead and rank those. And uh, my guest here in the household, uh, I figure I'd give you the honor. Uh, do you want to do both honorable mentions at the same time? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. So. Uh, I, Tom got to say a couple things, so I won't try to add too much on, um, but there have been a, quite a few things that he's given me that have been uh, either just incredible albums or things that really do mean a lot to me, um, not just because it was given by him, but something that I know that he loves and something that's really expanded my own musical taste and, and my own uh, interests. And so I think that uh, definitely this list, if I was to predict what, what would have been on it, before I had heard these things, um, yeah, I would have never suspected half of these, um, but it ended up just a lot of things that I ha would have probably never given a shot, um, he's been able to expose me to. Um, so when we're talking honorable mentions, it's probably back and forth on which one is actually seventh and sixth. Mm -hmm. um, so the two of them are uh, Valter Hamill's Omri. Uh, that's one, and then the other one I'll kind of just go ahead and say both is uh, Jubilee Road by Tom O'Dell. Um, both of those albums are two that I really enjoy. Um, specifically the Tom O'Dell album, I I believe it would be higher if I've had more time with it. That's a more recent gift from him, um, so I haven't had quite as many listens to it as I might have hoped to have. So I would say that that's probably the one on this list I could see easily uh, shooting up uh, higher. And then Voucher Hamill, I've not spent a whole lot of time with. I've listened to quite a few of his albums, um, and I don't even know if necessarily that album specifically is my favorite. If anything, um, 
I think that Omri's here because that's the one I was gifted. Um, but as an artist, he probably would rank higher uh, in terms of the individual albums. I'm not sure that that one's necessarily my favorite, um, but I do really enjoy it. Uh, definitely two extremely great albums um, that I have really enjoyed. Awesome. I'm, I'm kind of surprised that uh, Voucher Hamill made the list. Yeah. Excellent. Yes, we have kept these lists a secret from each other. I do not know what's on his and vice versa. <laughs> So my two honorable mentions, they both happen to be cassettes that you sent me, and uh, not because they're cassettes, even though of the three major formats, that's the one that I take least seriously, uh, even though, I mean, obviously I have have a box full of cassettes here. But uh, yeah, the first one is one that, I don't know if it's, and I'm probably going to say this of a couple of these things, it was, I think, one of the first gifts you gave me, mm -hmm. and so much so that I actually put it into inside of a... Uh, an actual case. It was just in its sleeve. But yes, the cassette single for Gump by Weird Al Yankovic, uh, he knew early on, no surprise, that I'm a huge Weird Al Yan Yankovic fan. And he found this probably at, at, probably at a thrift store. Yep. I was, and <laughs> yep. so he sent it. And so, you know, the, the thoughtfulness of it, the fact that it was Weird Al, uh, he, he knew I would love it. So that obviously gets a place of honor on my list. And the other one is actually uh, a collaboration uh, the first collaboration that we did uh, back when he reviewed albums and when I did too, uh, we reviewed an album together on, I believe the video went on his channel, and that is 90125 by Yes. Uh, I actually have it on, uh, I had it on CD, but when I got the vinyl about a month ago, I decided, okay, I can get rid of the CD, but uh, he sent me the cassette and I have not gotten rid of it. So uh, you did send me this, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I watched the video, and I'm always second guessing myself. You know, people my age start losing their memory. Anyway. <laughs> that okay. He he makes jokes about my age. Sometimes I just feed him the ammo. Okay? Yeah. So yeah, he does. Anyway, but yes. Uh, but yes. Uh, Nine one two five. Fantastic album. It was, uh, has one of my favorite songs of all time. Leave it. Uh, and yeah, that's one of the. Uh, not one of the singles happens to be one of my favorite uh, songs off that album of all time. So yes, those are my two honorable mentions. And that kind of shows two different sides because one of them's the the thrift store. I knew you'd like this, so I wanted to send it to you. And the other one was because uh, the yes one would have been when I was cleaning out my own cassette collection, and that would that came from my own collection. So kind of two different sides of the gifts that we've ended up giving each other is uh, uh, all across the board. Uh, yeah. Either. Purchases <laughs> and cast-offs. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely. All, um, all so right. Number five. Yeah, number five. So um, my number five, The honestly, I suspect that this one will be pretty shocking based off of how much we've mutually talked about this band and bonded over this band. Um, but... My number five is, and I got don't want to make I gotta make sure I get it right. Gotta have my have my <laughs> notes. Uh, Twelve stops and home by the feeling. Um, nice. I this is an album that he sent me. I don't know, quite a while ago now. Um, but I really enjoyed it. Uh, and as the they had a new album coming out last year, um, and so I had started listening to the singles, getting really excited for it. And I was talking about it with Tom, who hadn't been paying quite as much attention to those singles, had kind of fallen off from the band a little bit. Um, and so it was really it was really fun to be able to uh, kind of mutually introduce each other to the band, me reintroducing him and him just showing him to me the first time. Um, and since then, both of us have become very big fans. Uh, he ended up purchasing some of their uh, deluxe albums, and so I got uh, his old versions sent to me. Um, and so uh, we've been able to listen to a lot of their stuff. Uh, a great synth pop band um, that I've really come to love. Honestly, I was if I would have just guessed, I would have probably put them in my top three. Um, but I had a couple of things that kind of edged them out. Great album, though, one that I have definitely come to love, especially because we've been able to mutually talk about it so much. Awesome, yeah, and I can't remember if that was one of my final purchases from Skips or not. I think it was. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but yeah, it's kind of fun how you know I was first interested in the band, my interest dropped off. I sent him the album, you know. On a whim, practically. Oh, and I, th I think I, I knew you would like, or I thought you would like it, and then that indirectly rekindled my own interest in the band. So it kind of come full circles. I thought that was kind of fun. Uh, so uh, my number five, yes, my number five, and actually I think this is the first gift you sent me, uh, is the Rocky Story. It's a, a compilation of the uh, hits from the soundtracks from the Rocky films. Uh, he found this, and he is through no fault of his own, I mean, it's just, you know, where he happens to live, 
forgive me if I make this sound, you know, ungrateful or anything like that, you know, <laughs> but it's, you know, he might not be able to pick, he doesn't have the greatest selection being where I am. I'm spoiled with being able to pick just about anything I want to send him. You know, he only has so much to choose from, so his gifts can sometimes be kind of random. He has limited stores to choose from and limited money as well. So anything he picks out to send, yeah, again, through no fault of his own. I chose to teach. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, anything that he sends me is, I consider it very thoughtful and very meaningful. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, I'd wanted a couple of these songs, uh, just, you know, didn't feel like, you know, spending the money on the actual soundtracks, the individual soundtracks. And this was kind of one of those things that I just, I'd seen at the stores, just never bothered to pick up myself. So he took care of that for me. And, uh, Strangely, one of my favorite songs from the Rocky movies is Living in America by James Brown, probably because uh, Weird Al parodied it. But uh, yeah, of course, the Survivor hits, and uh, it does have the instrumental theme from uh, the Rocky films, which is me being into orchestral and instrumental soundtracks. I like that, too. So so yeah, the Rocky story is number five. And ironically, I think there were five original Rocky movies. Coincidence. Mm -hmm. Uh, so yeah, that's my number five. How yeah. about number four? Yeah, um, as I'm as I'm reminding myself of four. Yeah, Rocky's was a huge uh, a high school favorite of mine. Um, so I I had a huge interest in Rocky. It used to be what I would call my favorite movie. So um, was an obvious uh, obvious first gift for me. Um, <laughs> all right, so number four, uh, kind of a different uh, step here. Um, I, he sent me uh, the Tom Lehrer collection by Tom Lehrer, um, and I uh, absolutely fell in love. So, so those that don't know, Tom Lehrer is a uh, like satirist and a comedy artist, um, and does some very creative, funny, intelligent stuff. Um, one thing that I've come to not necessarily love so much about uh, stand-up and comedy in general is some of it can be fairly low-brow and just uh, easy, trying to get easy laughs. Um, but he is a, a very intelligent man uh, and shows that constantly through his, his music. And I am not the type to really listen to much comedy music, but I... Once I got that, I have gone off the deep end. I've ha picked up quite a few more of his albums because I just love... Oh, uh, really? You probably told me that. Yeah, I've picked yeah. up a couple. Um, so, yes, I just... It's so funny, so uh, so witty and intelligent in, in his humor. Um, and something that just... It's so charming. I mean, if, if no other word, just charming stuff uh, that I really have come to love. Well, excellent. I, I'm really happy with that choice. Yeah, I'm glad I, some of my slightly warped tastes have uh, rubbed off on Noah. So yeah, that's a good choice. I'm, I'm happy for that one. Yeah. Uh, my number four. Uh, this one's going to be kind of weird, but it's, uh, again, and some of these are ones that I've kind of been looking for myself. And, you know, he just happens to send me at random. Rick Astley, uh, whenever you need somebody. Yeah, whenever you need somebody. Uh, and no, I'm not Rick rolling you. Uh, yeah, it's very cheesy, of course, yes. Uh, the um, Never Gonna Give You Up, of course, I had to look at the song title to remember what it was, uh, is the cheesy hit, but uh, my favorite song in here, and I need to do a video of this at some point, is One Hit Wonders, whose my favorite song by is Not Their One Hit. And at some point, I will, before I do the video, I'll find a clever way to say that. Uh, but yeah, his song Together Forever happens to be my favorite off this album. But uh, yeah, and it's fun. And they're catchy and I think well-crafted songs, even though Never Gonna Give You Up got possibly more attention than it deserved. But, you know, but just the sound is kind of a throwback sound. Uh, Stock, Aik Stock Aitken Waterman are the producers and uh, they know how to craft catchy hooks and stuff. So, And this album is actually full of them. So if the only song you know is Never Gonna Give You Up, check out the album. And it actually made me pick up his sophomore album as well. So... Uh, yeah, silly choice. Now, now I kind of feel a little inferior because my choices seem to be the slightly more, uh, you know, less substantial choices. Than I mean, I think is. that it kind of depicts. I mean, 
you all have seen his collection videos. He's got a huge collection of things, and so not only do I not necessarily have the funds or the availability to find many things, but um, it, it's also hard to find stuff that you don't have. So sometimes it's got to be the more niche stuff that kind of slots into a weird spot in your collection. Um, I guess and, so. and I mean, yeah, it's, uh, some of these I did what well, we've gone through four, and two of those I did pick up specifically for you, and two of them were just something kind that I had. So, yeah. yeah, just, you know, it happens. Oh. Whereas yeah. Tom has that availability and finds some excellent stuff, which uh, goes on to my number three, which is uh, I Am Nice by Sammy Brew. Um, I Let's see. So this one was one that he sent me fairly recently, um, right after I, or sometime pretty soon after I believe the second album came out. Um, I don't think it really clicked with me at first. I, I, I streamed the second album, wasn't totally into it, um, but had enjoyed the first one. Um, and I don't know where that, when that moment came when it clicked with me, but uh, quickly Sammy Brew has become an artist that I have uh, continued to go back to uh, multiple times. Ended up finding uh, this first album on vinyl for like three dollars, which was insane. And oh, I guess you didn't tell me how much you found it for. Wow. Yeah, that's yeah, three dollars. It was a pretty good price, um, and in, in great condition. And um, I, I, for someone that might even be younger than me, um, so much talent. Um, he's pretty close, at least. So, uh, so much talent. Such a such a brilliant like pop song artist able to craft such great songs um and uh, uh even just knowing how much tom had enjoyed those albums because this was around the time that that second album was coming out and getting to hear him talk about it a lot um allowed me that opportunity to really want to dive in and, and get really into the uh, sammy bruce stuff awesome yeah i kind of had a feeling he might be somewhere on the list so yeah that one i'm not too surprised at. not as surprised as i am have been with some of his <laughs> selections so far so so yeah, we are at number three. And uh, yeah, number three, I'm not sure what to say to introduce this one, but uh, it is one of his favorite bands. And uh, well, I'll just say it, uh, Songs of Experience by U2. Uh, one of his, uh, well, one of his favorite songs on this album was The Blackout, and I, I really enjoy that one too. Uh, I will confess that this is, of the ones on this list, this is probably the one I come back to least often. But uh, I had already had, what, three or four maybe even more U2 albums at that point. And so picking this one, or him sending me this one, kind of just tipped me over to the other edge and decided, okay, I'm just going to start collecting their discography. I'm missing their first two albums, I think. Possibly, well, I don't have their covers album that they just put out. But anyway, so yeah, I've gained more of an appreciation for U2 uh, thanks to this album. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure what else to say about that. Yeah, so... Yeah, uh, yeah, it's a it's a it's a great album. It it was a very formative album in helping me establish some of my taste. That and songs of innocence were really uh, a a big thing for me as well. So, um, moving on to number two, and it it pains me to not give this one number one by <laughs> by. Every everything about this choice makes me think I should put it at number one. That's a regular thing for people <laughs> who make lists. They always want to put their number two at number well, one. Well, <laughs> flip flopping them. No, I, I I don't know what you what you're mentally thinking, but I would suspect that if I was to if I was to ask you what you think number one is, it's probably this one. Um, it is the self titled album by Owsley. Um, oh, yeah. And, uh, Easily one of the best things that I have ever heard. I mean, one of my favorite albums. I was obsessed with it whenever he sent it to me. Um, and this was still earlier in the uh, in the amount of, or in the things that he had sent me. As he's still trying to understand some of my taste, and so some of the albums that he would send would not connect with me as much as others. Um, so this was still before he really had started to understand where my taste was. And now he's much more con like every to everything he sends. I'm always like, yep, 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 love this one. Um, <laughs> so, uh, but this was earlier, and so he didn't always know. But he had sent this one, and. I mean, wow. Um, I, I, it's, it's been an album that I continue to just be completely in awe of how great it was. Um, what, one of my favorite albums of all time. And, um, it's, it's just a shame that we only got two albums from Owsley, um, because, uh, he had so much talent. Well, excellent. Yeah. I, I, I kind of am surprised that that wasn't number one, even though I was, well, my mind's kind of been, I've let my mind go blank, you know, just wanting to 
capture the moment of when he reveal, reveals his list, trying not to think of, oh, which one's <laughs> going to be number one, which one's going to be number two. So, uh, yeah, I am kind, of, kind of am surprised that wasn't number one. So, And I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, Owsley, he just goes, he just went by that one name, his self-titled album. Uh, everybody slept on it, but uh, seek it out. It is fantastic, fantastic power pop. Uh, number two, my number two, my runner-up, is an artist that uh, he actually, this is going to give it away, he just released an album a few weeks ago, and I actually have all but one of his albums, and it happened, oh, and a couple albums, no, all three albums from his previous band as well. So I've just, it's one of those artists that kind of has sneaked up on me in terms of being in my collection. I just seem to buy one album after another, kind of like Willie Nelson, but that's a totally different story. But uh, yes, Andrew McMahon in the Wilderness, his self-titled album, the first album under this name. Uh, yeah, I, an artist that, uh, like probably a lot of these on our lists, uh, I probably would never have um, even thought about checking out if he hadn't uh, nudged, nudged them in my direction. But yes, excellent, um, uh, vaguely 80s inspired, uh, at least some of his albums have a fairly good dose of uh, synth pop or at least 80s, uh, less direct 80s influences. But yes, uh, fantastic lyrics, fantastic uh, music. I don't know what else to say about that, but uh, yeah, I when we're up in Portland, we're actually doing this video before we go up to Portland, uh, I'm look, going to look out for the one I'm missing and hopefully pick it up. So yes, Andrew McMahon in the Wilderness, an excellent, and his previous band, Jack's Mannequin. Uh, and I could have put one of those on my list as well because I picked up people and things while I was in Oklahoma uh, for visiting them. So yeah. Yeah. Great artist. I'm so glad that that one's on your list because uh, uh, Andrew's one of my favorite artists of all time, and that that was one of the one of the albums I've been able to send you that I happily paid the full amount for to make sure that I got you the CD because I wanted you to have it. Um, I'm so glad that that one's on your list. And that's high praise. If he pays full <laughs> price for an album that he gives away. That's high, high uh, praise. I, uh, yeah, that, <laughs> it's a great album. I'm so glad you like it. So my number one, which kind of ends up... Um, this one, despite all of the all of the great albums, I mean, everything on here has been stuff that he personally thought I would like and handpicked and sent to me. Um, so kind of ironic that number one is more one that uh, I, he was getting rid of. I kind of said I would kind of want this. I don't even. I think you said. I think you asked me if I would want it because I, I hadn't heard this artist before. At least I wanted to give him a try. Whatever it was, he gave me the opportunity to check them out. Um, I had never listened before, and this is why I was really hurting to put Owsley at number two. Um, because, but I couldn't. I mean, this is probably one of my top five favorite artists of all time. So, uh, my number one is Kid Crow by Conan Gray. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, I don't remember nice. the situation of how of wh how I got it from you. Um, yeah, well, uh, yeah, how I, I, I picked up, I liked it enough that I decided to pick up the vinyl, and so I was going to get rid of the CD, so. Yeah, so, so, uh, so, it, it, I think it, it was one that he thought I would like, and, and I was like, yeah, please, um, I'd like to try it out, and, yeah, I mean, Owsley is, it was great, and I loved it, and it was hand-picked, but this ended up being one that I, it became one of my favorite artists. I've gone back and, and picked up some of it, like his, his uh, previous EP and have really dug into Conan Gray. Um, and, and like I said, one of my top five favorite artists of all time. Uh, so I, this is one that I just couldn't help but putting at number one, despite everything. It was, it was such a fantastic album and I uh, absolutely love it. It makes it even better that I got it from Tom. <laughs> yeah, I imagine he probably edged out Owsley because he's from, I don't know if your generation specifically, but r around your age group, so he's probably more relatable to you. So that's probably probably the main reason, I would, I would guess. So anyway, my number one. Uh, well, I don't know how to preamble this, so I'm just going to do it. Uh, Gossamer by Passion Pit. And uh, the main reason for this is uh, if you dig through Noah's uh, videos... No, no one's going to stop you. Uh, he did a series a few year, a couple of years ago, which he called Take a Walk. It was just kind of a vlog style thing. He talked about whatever was on his mind and he would pick a, a song of the week or whatever. And Take a Walk is track one on this album. So the title, you know, is you can't get much more of a stronger mental tie with Noah than uh, the fact that his vlog series shares a title with one of the songs on this album. And besides that, they're a great... Um, Pretty much synthwave uh, mm. inspired act. 
Uh, they've got they've had three albums. No, I think they've put out another album since. But I've got their first three, and I've actually been thinking about picking up uh, the Japanese version of the CD, which has three or four extra songs on it, bonus tracks. But then the fact that this one came from Noah, it's like, and obviously to save shelf space, if I get that one, I'm going to get rid of this one. But do I want to get rid of it? No, I don't. So uh, for now, anyway, I'm just keeping this one. I'm going to not worry about not having the three bonus tracks. I've gotten a little more, uh, you know, less obsessive about having all the tracks, you know, extra tracks on albums and stuff. But yes, a fantastic album. And uh, yeah, I, th I think Take a Walk is my favorite song off here. Uh, but yeah, an excellent album. Thank you, Noah, for all of these gifts and all the many more that didn't make this list, but almost did. So uh, yeah, this guy's cool. I'm, I'm lucky to consider him my best friend, my little brother, essentially. Of course. Genetically, he's not my little brother, but he's my little brother. So, uh, yes, uh, uh, this was fun. Yeah. I really enjoyed these lists, and yeah. maybe someday you'll uh, share with me what uh, my, what might have uh, rounded out your bottom, your your top ten. Yeah. So yeah, and, we. It was a hard list. It was a hard list, and even just looking at yours, I'm I, I'm thinking of multiple albums. I'm like, wow, I'm surprised that that didn't make it. So um, we've given each other a lot of stuff. Um, we try to. Yeah. We're, uh, whatever we can, we like to try to send each other some stuff to, to check out. And so, um, I, my collection has, has grown a lot and become a lot, a lot more diverse, if only for the better, uh, because of the stuff that Tom sent. So, uh, it's been, it's been fun. It's been great to have, have someone that we can talk about music and, and share that experience with. And heck, it, it saves Alyssa from having to listen to me ramble on about some of these <laughs> albums. Uh, so you're saving her. Oh, cool. Glad to hear it. And uh, yeah, I think my my uh, musical sphere has expanded, perhaps not as much as his because I'm you know I'm already kind of my room is lousy <laughs> with CDs so uh, so uh, yeah. But anyway, I guess that's it for this video. It's it's almost half an hour, so that's it for my uh, our best friends day favorites list gifts list. Uh, thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, hit that like button and share it with your friends and give me your thoughts, questions, suggestions, or constructive criticisms in the comments section below. Also scroll down to the description for the links to my Twitter and Instagram feeds and links to my favorite fellow YouTubers who are all worth, with, worth checking out. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and browse my past videos and be sure to ring that notifications bell so you'll be the first to know each time I drop a new video. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and remember, Life's too short to be a music snob.